We are doing a big fat roast beef dinner. We're getting a standing rib roast ready. It's a roast beef on the bone. Roasting all this stuff, big fat succulent big meat today. I have to say at Christmas time and holiday time around my house, every year it's about the big beef, big meat kind of stuff. So I've got some mushrooms, baby carrots, onions, and celery that I'm gonna sit this big beef thing on. I'm gonna get some red wine and you know, some aromatic stuff, some bay leaves. Where are they? Here we go. I'm gonna grab a little cayenne because I'm gonna use this in a sec to make a little crust on my big meat. So, about a cup of wine. Get everything all sort of nice and, you know, mm, potty started. It's not the holidays until, you know, we have some drinking going on. I've got some chicken stock, some nice brown chicken, super rich chicken stock. Yes, babies. And definitely some salt in there as well. Hello. Yes, making everything taste delicious. A couple of bay leaves, and now we're gonna start working on my crust for my big beef. So I'm making a crust for my roast out of about a half a bunch or so of rosemary, which I'm gonna give a little chop and then I'm gonna toss it right into my food processor. Okay, so rosemary ready to go into my machine with my favorite piece of kitchen equipment, a little bench scrape. Look at, makes me a super speed demon at the holidays and every other time of the year. All right, so let's smash a few garlics, about three or so. One, two, three. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna toss in a little pinch of cayenne as well, about half a teaspoon. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started and then we're gonna drizzle in some olive oil to make a paste and then we're gonna massage our meat. Extra virgin olive oil, of course. There we go, look at this, making a lovely paste. This is beautiful. Look at, this is huge and the thing about this is that it's on the bone and we love to have that roast meat on the bone. I mean, you think about when you make stock and stuff and chicken stock or beef stock or anything else you do with like, you know, soups or things like that, you do it with the bone. So we roast the meat on the bone, kind of slows down the cooking process. So we'll really, you know, be able to, to do this low and slow, get a beautiful, huge color on this. Look at this. Huge color on this and we're adding some beautiful, lovely crustiness on the outside of there. And you know what, let's massage my big meat. Yes. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put that right in there. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna salt this bad boy. And we're gonna get it in the oven. All right, nice big salt. Big, big salt on the outside of there. Now, I have preheated my oven to 450 degrees, which is a high, high temperature. And we're gonna put our big meat in there for about a half an hour or so. Let's just get the ends there, yes. For about a half an hour until we get brown food. Really good on the outside of there, gorgeous. And then we're going to turn it down and go low and slow and do beautiful roasty things. Of course, we're gonna check this occasionally to make sure happy things are happening. And then, moving on. Oh, look at that. All right, darling, we'll see you in a while. This has been in the oven, 450 degrees for about 30 minutes. I put some red wine and some chicken stock in the bottom of there. And you know what? I'm just giving it a little bit more of a lube job. Oh, keep things really nice and beautiful in there. Happy, happy girl. Look at, hey, brown food, you're looking good. So let's go back in the oven. Woo, we're gonna go ahead, give this a little rotation as well. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down to 350 degrees. We're gonna go for another like hour and 45 to two hours. We want this to be medium rare and we're going to 130 degrees. So you know what? I am right on the money. And look how perfectly it's cooked. All the Who's in Whoville would be so happy about this. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I did a good job on this one. I'm digging right in. Happy I can't wait, man. This would make anybody happy. I think this would even turn a vegetarian into a meat eater. Okay. Mm, mm. This is like just a little, a little holiday hug right around me. Ugh, oh, the rosemary, the little tiny bit of cayenne, the cheesy yummy potatoes, big meat flavors. 